Hi everyone, welcome back to uh, Sketch and Chill. It's Thursday, December the 28th today, and um, I'm afraid I haven't been around much of late, but uh, let's see if we can do something today. Um, I thought we'd just try and uh, look at a fairly complex sketch here uh, with a lot of people in it and just see how we would go about tackling this. Now, I don't know if you can see that, that's, that's actually um, a Parisian cafe called Le Deux Majeux, I think anyway. And uh, as you can probably see, there's um, um, a, a lot of people here. Uh, so we need to uh, think of the best way to, to, uh, to tackle this particular image. And for me, um, you can see that I've um, cut the image into quarters here which is a sort of a, a grid. Uh, the reason I've done that is because it gives me a central point, an exact point in the centre. You can see it there. Let's just have a look. There's the central point there. So it's a place to start from. So what I'm suggesting is for this sketch, we, we more or less start in the middle and work outwards. You know, it doesn't matter how, but just sort of starting outwards. Uh, sorry, working outwards from the centre. Now, um, just put that on one side. So you won't be able to see the lines, but I'll, I've got a couple of pencil lines here that correspond to this. And um, the centre point there is uh, just above this, uh, this window here. And quite conveniently, this centre line here, horizontal centre line, sort of coincides with this awning here, you see? So what I would do is, keeping it very loose by the way, uh, we'll look at this point here where that right hand side of the awning starts uh, and that's just above the red line and it's about there. So what I'll do is I'll just take that along there uh, towards the end of the uh, paper and it gets to about there and then it goes sort of down below the line like that so that's near enough and then here we've got this bit coming down here and then we've got the this bit here uh, what we'll do is we'll just do a, a rough line there for now okay just basically establishing the framework of, of the image really. Uh, so while we're here let's just go up that bit of the awning there. Um, that then goes uh, across there, across the center, vertical centre line, across there and uh, it's it's about about there isn't it. So we'll now bring that line back down to about there and this line of of the awning is just below that red line so that sort of follows it along so let's do that very roughly and as we get towards the end it just sort of curves around like this and ends about there and let's bring it back a bit and it's around about there don't have to be too accurate. And then <clears throat> and another a horizontal line here, which is useful. It goes across there and that goes to about there. Guesswork. So from there to there, there to there, it's about right, isn't it? so bring that down there like that. And on the other side, uh, what we've got, similar, goes across there to about there. Would that be about right? Yeah, about there. And then this line across here. See how I'm staying 
really loose. Not bothered about straight lines that, that much really. Okay, and then we've got another line that goes, uh, where are we? That goes across there like that, I think, around about there, and it goes down around about like that towards there. And, you know, already we've pretty much established a basic framework. And while we're here, let's just um, take a vertical line up here and uh, another vertical line starts about there, goes up there, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> <coughs> um, and then just leave that there for now. Uh, so, uh, that's the relatively easy bit, I guess. So what can we do next? Well, these uh, sun covers here would be the next thing. So, top of that is about there. And that goes around about there, down to there. That one there goes down to here. More or less. And then we've got this going around here like this. <coughs> okay, back with you. Just having a, a little bit of a coughing fit there, so let's just go. Um, as the drawing progresses, I will stop talking and start speeding things up a bit. While we're here, let's do the other um, sun cover, which goes around about there, like that, I would say. It's never going to be exactly correct in terms of scale. It's all just guesstimation, isn't it? And that goes around towards that, like that. It's about right. So we're sort of coming together slowly now. Um, let's just <coughs> go back to this awning. Let's line there line there it doesn't have to be that accurate uh, let's see now that goes down about there i mean half the time i don't know exactly what i'm drawing as long as it's near enough a bit more frilly bits here and now there's the center point there so that's about right. So just below that center point here, we've got another uh, horizontal line. Round about there. And that goes... Um, that stops about there. Another vertical line down. And then... So you can see uh, how I'm just slowly putting it together just to construct the whole image. Um, so now I think what we need to do is to establish the, uh, the bottom of this doorway here. And we can use that as a reference for the, for the, for the uh, figures here. So bottom of the doorway, it's around about here, isn't it? which is what, about a quarter of the way up uh, from the bottom to the centre there. So that would be half quarter there. Again, pure guesswork. So just a rough line there, just to give me an idea of, of where we are. Um, what else can we do while we're here?
Yes, there's a, a horizontal, a horizontal line. This piece here, perhaps. So that would be uh, around about there. Real guesswork here. Around about there, like that. Line there. And some sort of window here, which goes up to about there. It doesn't have to be that accurate as long as it gives a rough representation because your brain fills in the rest of, of the image when you look at it. Okay, um, I think what we'll do is um, I'll, I'll, I'll um, stop talking now and I'll do some of the details um, excluding the figures and then when I've done that I'll then come back to to normal time and, and we'll have a look at the figures Okay, I'm back with you now, and you may have noticed it, it looks as though it's a lot more detailed than uh, where I left it. Uh, it. It's a sort of an illusion, really. I, I've just put a few lines, a few scribbles, some cross hatching here and there. Um, nothing very accurate. And I've not really gone for great detail because we're just looking for an overall effect. You know, if you concentrate too much on detail, then um you know it's just going to take forever so basically uh, that's about the structure complete more or less now we've got to the dreaded bit for the figures so which is always the tricky bit so how do i go about tackling this okay well um keeping it simple of course the figures are just circles and and oblongs and squares really so if we try and keep it like that, hopefully we won't go too far wrong. Um, you see, I've done quite a lot of cross hatching here where the shadows are, and, and that's always quite effective. It's just, it really is just scribbling, as you can see. That's all it is, but it is quite effective. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to put it off, aren't I? I know. Okay, how do we go about this then? Well, let's start with this guy here and this lady next to him. Perhaps we'll start with the lady. Her head is about halfway down between the center here and the bottom of the image. Okay, about halfway. So that's a good. And of course, uh, and it goes, and, and you can see it's situated underneath this umbrella, uh, more or less in, in line with the end of it. So if we just go down here, down here, and we just do a quick oval like that nothing special okay then we'll just do a block for a body about there and now we got onto our legs already so our legs we've got uh, this leg here let's go down like that and we've got the other leg underneath which sort of goes down like that and We've got her arm. I don't know if you see it. Her, her hand is just here underneath the chin. So it's about there. Okay. We put the hand in first. Then from the hand, we can do the forearm. Just going down to about there. And, and that's more or less it, really. Um, Now the man next to her, his head is just about there, isn't it? Slightly bigger perhaps. Um, let's do a big block for, for his body. It comes down here, across here, 
very rough. You see, he's. I'm just look, trying to see where his hands are. Just one hand is about here. The other hand probably here, very roughly. So therefore, we can see where his arm goes. He's got some sunglasses on, so that's that. He's got a fringe. Let's not go too mad. Um, just representation, that's all. And so now, so the table is around about here. Small table, about there. And that sort of does it really. Um, a couple of cups on the table, no big deal. And uh, then we've got uh, well, we've got another table around about here, and uh, another one over here. Uh, we've got a chair here in front of the table. <coughs> Very rough again. Not really looking for detail. Something like this. Um, I mean, we've got to sort of, I don't know what this is. Menu here or something. I don't know what it is anyway. Uh, and then we've got our umbrella thing here. And then just behind this uh, man here, there's, another, there's a, a waiter or something. He's obviously slightly more in the background, so he's about there. No detail again, as I say. Um, I'm going to put a bit of shading just to highlight him. A bit more shading here and there. That can be done later, really. Um, what else have we got? Some sort of notice here. Uh, okay, so that's how we will proceed. So from here, uh, I will just move across to here and you see there's a, I don't know if you can see it, you probably can't, there's a lady sat here directly opposite this man and her head is around about underneath these umbrellas here so that would be about there so let's see just put her there uh, Body there, <coughs> and she sat. At, she sat at a table here, something like this. Um, her hand is probably just about here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so forearm there. <coughs> She's got her hair coming down like this, looking across there. <coughs> Next to her, a man who's about here. Just very rough shapes here. His hand is something like this. <coughs> <coughs> And that's pretty much it. There's a chair just here again. Down 
very rough representation of a chair. I'm not too bothered. And the table um, sort of cover comes down here like this. Um, she's obviously sat on a chair, so there's a chair there. It's all very rough, just to give you an idea of, of what's going on. Okay, so, and then all I'm going to do then is, um, well, let me just move this up a bit. It's not in the right place, is it? Out there, perhaps. So uh, you can see I'm, I'm just building outwards from the centre here. Um, there's another man just here again. I don't think you can see him, but anyway, he's somewhat behind. So let's just draw him like that. He's sat just behind chair. That's all we need to do, really. So what you can see is I'm building up the figures very loosely in relation to each other and the background. So now I've established the, the main forefront uh, here for the images, uh, for the um, people, right? Uh, all, I, all I need to do is just, just keep building on that, really. Um, And um, just, you know, building outwards bit by bit. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll take another break and come back when I've uh, done some more of this. Okay, I'm back again. Uh, and the, the image, the sketch is more or less finished now. I mean, it, it sort of looks really incredibly detailed and it looks as though a lot of thought's gone into it, but that is not the case. I can tell you that an awful lot of um you know rough work has gone into this uh, and yet it still produces a reasonable image it's uh, it's 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 the brain deceiving us isn't it you know it, it looks like a complex scene but it, it's not really um so pretty much finished with the figures now as you can see all very random but they're more or less in proportion to each other. That's the main thing. And I think I don't need, really need to do a great deal more now. You can see that I've done an awful lot of um, cross hatching here with the pen, which is a, a very effective way of um, <coughs> making an image <coughs> or a sketch look more realistic. But it's, it's a sort of, like I say, it's a sort of an illusion, really. I mean, I've done loads and loads of random lines and, and scribbling around. But the overall effect is reasonably effective. Uh, so <clears throat> I'll probably uh, follow up with painting this. I don't want to get too involved with the painting either, to be honest. <coughs> Um, what I may do is is uh, use these foreground figures as the um, highlights of the sketch. <coughs> so in other words, I'll be do probably doing a lot of painting around them to, to bring them out. And same with these umbrellas here and this awning here. I won't do anything with that. <coughs> OK, sorry for the cough. <coughs> But uh, I think we're, we'll call that uh, a day for the moment. And, uh, and, uh, and then the next thing we'll do is uh, get into some uh, loose painting. Okay, see you shortly.